Hi guys, it's Ida Wolf here. Welcome to my review of Puzzle Pirates. It is a massive multiplayer online game in which all of the activities are replaced with various puzzle games. The game was released in 2003 and it was developed by Three Rings Design. First of all, I know that the graphics aren't all that amazing, but you just have to remember how old this game is. And to be fair, I don't really think that the graphics matter in this kind of game. I know that the game looks kinda childish, but trust me, I wouldn't say that this game is only for kids, mostly because the puzzles that we get to play are difficult most of the time. The worst thing about this game, in my opinion, is the interface. It's just that it can be kind of confusing if you are a new player. There are two kinds of currency in Puzzle Pirates, pieces of eight and doubloons. For most stuff you buy in the game, you are going to need both of those. While Puzzle Pirates is free to play, you can spend real money to buy doubloons, and then you can exchange doubloons to pieces of eight, but you can also exchange pieces of eight to doubloons, so you aren't really forced to spend any real money on this game if you don't want to. As for pieces of eight, there are various ways to earn them. For example, you can challenge people to puzzle games and gamble your money this way. Another way to earn money is by joining a pillage and helping out some crew. If we do that, most of the time we just have to do some puzzle game on the ship. There are few tasks to choose from, and what is actually pretty cool is that our performance matters. For example, if we do good at the sailing puzzle, the ship will sail faster. Sometimes there are also tournaments that we can join and win some money or items. Some of the items, like clothes, we only buy to look better and show off. But there are also items that improve our performance in player vs player puzzles. Some of the games are locked to specific days of the week. To be able to play them all anytime we want, we have to buy a parlor badge. There are other kinds of badges as well, and what they do is unlocking activities that we wouldn't be able to do otherwise. As for the music in Puzzle Pirates, I cannot really say much about it. To be honest, it's kind of annoying and I usually just mute it. I must admit that I was recording this review in low resolution because I wasn't aware there are bigger ones. But after taking a look into the settings, I realized I was wrong and there are bigger resolutions available. Now, I know I haven't been talking much about the puzzle games themselves, but trust me, if you like puzzle games, this game has plenty of them and you will find something for yourself. You can even play some card games in Puzzle Pirates, like poker, hearts or spades. My final score for Puzzle Pirates is 8 out of 10. The game is old, but it can still be pretty fun if you enjoy puzzle games. It's free to play, so it's worth a try at least. However, if you never really enjoyed puzzle games, then I don't think you'll find anything entertaining in this game. Thank you for watching my review. If it was useful to you, then please like the video, I'd really appreciate it. And if you want to see any future reviews I may make, please subscribe to my channel. For now, take care and see you around.